Hello! Hi, friends! Welcome in, everybody. Hold on. I am frozen! <laughs> Welcome in, Sean. Congrats on getting first! Congrats, congrats. Parth was, like, lurking in here. I, I didn't know if he, like, fell asleep, so I was like, oh, Parth is gonna get first. So, good job. Good job. Am I moving now? Hi. Hi, hello. But yeah, congrats on getting first. Welcome in. Alice, hello, hello. Santa, hi. Is this angry because you didn't get first? <laughs> I see. How do you like him, Sheriff Woody? Oh, I don't know how to say. I don't know how Woody says howdy off the top of my head. <laughs> but howdy, hi. Good morning, Salts. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Wait, what time is it for you? Did you just wake up? Toysty, thank you so much for the resub. I don't have a game up because nobody voted. <laughs> nobody <laughs> told me what game to play, so I was gonna make a- I was gonna make a poll. Wait, I have a just chatting scene, but like, I don't have everything set up here. There, I have a just chatting scene, but I don't have everything like set up here. Um... So, uh, this is what you get. What game should I play, though? Like, nobody said anything. Stardew is an option. Genshin. Animal Crossing. Something else. Okay, here's a little poll we're gonna do really quick. Because nobody told me what I should play. But welcome in, everybody. Why did this poll take the whole screen? I'm dead inside. Why does it- it fully takes the whole screen? I gotta go to my own Twitch channel now. And make sure everything is good. Make sure everything is fine. If you guys tie up this poll again, I will scream. Hi, Kat. Moon stream. Yes, I haven't streamed in like a week, over a week now. So uh, every time I do that, I'm so nervous to stream and I just, I don't know why. Dragon, hello. Welcome in. I lurked to fold laundry for a bit. No worries. Thank you so much for existing here with us. Hello, hello. Can y'all hear the music or is it just me? Okay, good. The music is playing. The music is playing. It's a little soft. Oh, even the chat back here is a... Uh... Listen. Do not perceive the scuffed... The scuffed beginnings of the stream as usual. I did get first actually, but I was so first. It must, <laughs> must have glitched. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that sounds like it. That sounds like it. Oh, not the bomb. Sean got stars from that. Good job, good job. Up for anything? I will watch what I replay. Oh no. Okay, well, somebody's at least voting in the poll. But at least there's votes, okay? Wait, why is there so many votes? <laughs> How did I win? Because Santa bombed the the stream avatars, and so so it made you jump and catch the star. I'll give you another. I'll give you another star. <gasps> Alice, happy New Year! Thank you so much. Happy five months. That's amazing. Happy five months. There's more stars. There you go. There you go. Food for everybody. Here's some food. I'm just that good. Animal Crossing is winning. You still owe me toilets. Some spamming Animal Crossing. Oh, is all are all these Animal Crossing votes from you? You know what? If I play Animal Crossing, I don't have my Switch set up, so I would have to go get that done. I would have to go get that set up. Not the bombs. Who chose something else? Can I see who chooses what? Who chose something else? I don't think I can see that. 
Can I? I don't think so. No, it doesn't show me who voted for something else. for everyone yay i felt odd with the vip gem and no sub no worries please you don't have to be sub to me at all to to be here and to be vip i promise it's fine but thank you so much for the resub i appreciate it <laughs> yeah but please never everybody like please don't feel obligated to sub to sub to me at all or to, to give it anything, I'm just, I just appreciate that you're here. Where is my OBS? What is OBS doing to me right now? It is moving on me, and I don't appreciate this. I voted for something else. Oh, what, what's your something else? Are you going to say Horizon? <laughs> I feel like you would say that. I feel like you would say that. You've given me so much entertainment. Oh, well, well, thank you for being here. That's, thank you, I appreciate that. If you're not obligated, you're, oh, I'm not obligated. You're just awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, French, wait, French tire? What is French tire? Hi, Rolly. Welcome in. I've never once subbed and still get them. People have too much money to spend. Hello. Want to win $10 donation? What? $10? I could buy some... I could buy myself a drink. Or a few pieces of candy. <laughs> I spend more time... Oh. Why does this sound so creepy? There we go. I spend more time watching you than who sages. <laughs> oh, Animal Crossing one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to set up my switch. It's gonna take me a second, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go grab it. It's in my bag somewhere. If you're down to play Horizon, then sure. I don't have it, and I don't have a place. Wait, is it on? No, it's on Steam too. No, I do have it on Steam. Just kidding. Have you heard of the game Journey? It's very pleasant. Two hours of gameplay, nice message, kind of like the Mobile Sky game. Yeah, I have heard of Journey, actually. Everyone who like comes in to watch me play Sky, or whoever, whoever did come watch me play Sky was like, oh, this reminds me of Journey. <laughs> And so I, I bought it. I've never played it though. But let me go grab my Switch real quick. I will be right back. It's going to be super quick, so I'm just going to leave myself on. I love Tia Dick Cock. <gasps> I love Tide Cock. this clip but, but that's part of it right that's crazy thank you so much for the work team just started my day but i'll be working here while i get ready to get my 
What is this clip? Who did this? Is this... <laughs> what did you say? Is this the Hungarian Rhapsody? <laughs> it says Turkish March. Is that, are you talking about the music? <laughs> Probably you're playing GeoGuessr? Hold on. I do not have my Switch plugged in. Who told me to do this? Where's my capture card even at? <laughs> Okay, I can't do this anymore. I can't do the the music anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dream avatar is broken. I think so. Look at Dan just just absorbing all this these health packs. Dan is just winning, <laughs> absorbing all these health. Packs. What is happening? Dream avatar, are you good? <laughs> Dan is just ready to, like, wreck somebody. Just waiting. Just waiting for somebody to fight. What is that even happening? I, I'm on my phone so I can barely talk. No race, Dan. Thank you so much for coming, though. Dan is the last one wandering the planet. I don't know how to fix this. Do I, like, just disconnect and, like, reconnect? Do you think that'll work? Do you think that'll work? Hold on. I'm trying to get my switch on here. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> the, do you see the one person pop on? Okay. Wait, I'm so confused, y'all. I disconnected and I still see the bombs. The bombs are still going. What is happening right now? Why are the bombs still going? <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> I don't even have any music playing. I apologize to anyone who just came. It won't not work. <laughs> Let's do this some regular stream music. There's no farting. They're not even on screen, Santa. There. Everybody talk again and then your avatar will come back on the screen. <laughs> come back on the screen you will be revived after dan's reign of terror i don't know why dan just did that he hacked my system he said he's on his phone only so that he could hack he could hack with his pc my nostrils what's wrong with your nostrils let me scroll up in chat i feel like i missed like 2001 things Roll equals rolly, but with the French E A U X sound, and what rolls tires case close. <laughs> Roll equals Michelin man. You have it? I do have it. Wait, 
Wait, are you talking about Journey or are you talking about um, Horizon? Because I have I have both. Okay, I'm here. Insert Elmo on fire. Let me uh, put my switch here. Hello, my switch. My. Take over not working. <laughs> of course, it's not working. Everything's scuffed here today. So scuffed. My switch is not connecting, or my capture card's not picking up my switch. I'm trying my best, y'all. Kitty was cuddling with me until I had to sneeze. Oh, that's pain. My cat never cuddles with me. I really should start with a different voice. <laughs> True, you should. You should. Okay. Um, I'm currently eating the most chicken flavored instant noodles, and they are bland <laughs> Rome, hi. I'm sorry about your noodles, and I'm sorry that you're not feeling good. I might give myself heart disease from using salt. Oh no, please don't. Please, no. Santa, you really should, you really should use, get a different voice for the first time because it, it never works, it never works. You should just do a test voice and then get the... The, the better voice to its full extent, you know? Okay, why is my switch not working? Why my capture card not work? I mean, my switch is working just fine, but my capture card is not. Maybe if I, like, unplug There's one fucking photo! There's one fucking photo! Your wife looks like an actual potato, it's so pixelated. Like, if I cropped this, right, and I, like, took all of this off and just gave you this, you would tell me, hey, Steph, why the fuck did you send me a picture of a... way that it turned it on as after it ended oh my god i was talking the whole time and i didn't even know i didn't even know <laughs> what the heck santa i didn't even know it's not working i'm not i don't know why maybe like i need to reconfigure like voice mod and mix it up bot maybe i don't know maybe i'll just turn off the voice redemptions for this stream because I just, I don't know why they're not working. Let me just turn them all off. Yeah. Yep, disable it. Yep, turn it off. Sorry, sorry y'all. But welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you so much, Serena, for the raid. I'm sorry that I, like, wasn't talking for a second. I... I had a voice mod on and it wasn't, it just wasn't working. I don't know. But, but, 
Yes, welcome in. Thank you, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Everything is scuffed right now. Uh, I'm doing my best to fix it. <laughs> uh, not working. And nothing is working. But we're doing our best. <laughs> we're, we're doing our best. None of them work. Yeah, I didn't. How long was I not talking? Because I'm, just, I'm in pain for that. <laughs> I'm in pain. Come to America, I'll make you good moods. I have makeups too. Ah, my gosh. Thank you for giving Serena a shout out. I appreciate you. Wait, I'm Lurk. I love Snob. That's so cute. Snob is like a butt in a snail shell. Voice mod can be kind of finicky. Yeah, the last two streams, it hasn't been working. And I don't know if it's because like I updated it and maybe I have to like reconnect it to my redemption bot or something. I'm not sure, but I, I'm gonna have to try it. I just, I always forget to after a stream. Like I write it down and then I just completely forget about it. So I'm gonna have to, I need to remind myself. Let me like send myself a message. government wants to do trade with america which means transporting in meats which have been treated with all stuff and no thanks yeah that doesn't sound great there's also a thing to keep in mind that our hospitality traditions and restaurants and stuff are different than other countries very true very true we won't send you our best <laughs> we really won't but do we even have a best <laughs> do we have a best Hi Harrison, welcome in. I had to reconnect it again today, so I don't know if an update worked it today for everyone. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely check it because like before it was fine, but now it doesn't do the exact like it doesn't it doesn't work the way I want it to. Okay, let me go to the animal crossing. Wait, why is this going the oh I connected to one? Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to hold my controller sideways. Animal Crossing. Oh no, I have just download an update. Let's go ahead and download it. This won't like dox me or anything, right? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and stop our music. How are you doing, Harrison? How are you all how are you all doing today? What have y'all been up to? Have y'all had a good holiday season? If your hair is easy enough to spot high quality food, that that is true because like there's a lot of really bad food, bad quality food, so it's very easy. So big system is wild to us in the UK. There we go. Yeah, tipping's kind of weird, but uh, I always like tip too much usually. My more meant portion. I hate big portions. <laughs> That's all you get here. That's all you get here. Oh my gosh. Can I go to the side? I'm only using, it says I'm only using one controller, but I'm using two. Can you play Animal Crossing with one controller? Okay. Please work. Both. Yay. GM good. Boot? Oh, sorry. Is it really bad, but there's definitely places you can get treated food, but you can always get food that isn't treated with anything for more money. That is true. I like, I, I know a lot of people who buy straight from the farm here. 
Actually, I'm gonna keep this sound on, the the music. But I do know a lot of people that buy straight from the farm here, but that's just because it's so accessible where I live. And they end up actually paying less. Especially meat prices right now. For some reason, meat is like real. Oh, it's storming outside. I don't know if you can hear that. But <laughs> meat right now is apparently really expensive. So I know people who will go and bring like a huge cooler to like a farm and they'll just get like a whole chunk, like a whole cow, <laughs> essentially, just like a whole cow cut up for them. Kind of wild, but whatever works for you. And it's actually cheaper than at the grocery store and much better. Rome means chlorinated chicken mostly, I believe. What is chlorinated chicken? What does that even mean? <laughs> FDA requirements. I gotta start up dinner, but I'll be lurking. No worries, Serena. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. I don't know what day. Oh my god. Does anyone remember what day I was on? <laughs> oh no, I don't remember what day I was on the last time I played, so all my villagers are gonna come for me. You gotta get that Wagyu beef and nothing else. Oh, uh, it's very hard to find. Wait, what is this? My phone is ringing? <gasps> Harvey! Special photos. Oh god, am I in June? What what date am I on? <laughs> I gotta close Animal Crossing. What date am I on? Oh no, we're in June. <laughs> we're in June. <laughs> Not the wedding season. <laughs> Not 2020. <laughs> this <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my Twitch pods real quick and see what day I was playing. Cause I'm just gonna do that the last day. The next day. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, I don't I don't know what day this is. Oh my god. I don't- I fully don't remember. I'm gonna do the- whatever the next day is. <laughs> Wedding season- oh, May 19th? Oh my god, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a whole month. I'm gonna do May 20th at like 10 a.m. And let's just close- let's just close this. Forget that we did that. Forget that that happened, erase that from your memories. <laughs> erase that from your memories, please and thank you. Walmart brand Wagyu beef, excuse me, not the Walmart brand. That's probably not even real. I mean like, if it was a real thing, it's probably not even like authentic is what I mean. We used to buy half a cow for for ourselves, and then family friends would pay us for the other half. <laughs> well, that's nice, you know, you just, you can share, and everybody gets a good, a good piece, you know? I think everybody wins there, really. There was or might still be a chicken shortage in the UK because of COVID, making it hard for companies to get drivers to actually deliver the stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's stinky. I know delivering stuff right now anywhere has been really tough. A lot of the, like, delivery companies are actually, like, like, suffering. Yeah, cousin, come move here. Cousin. You just gotta move to the US. Yeah, true. I like the NHS too much. You like the... Weapons? Oh, toys are different. 
I don't think I have the boat tours yet. I'm not sure. Sahara's visiting. The savings on instant noodles will make up for the health insurance. <laughs> yeah, whatever you save in instant noodles, you can use for your <laughs> you can use for your hospital <laughs> visits because you'll save so much. It's so cheap. That reminds me of like one year. So whenever I buy my older brother Christmas, I whenever I get my older brother Christmas present, it's almost usually always a meme. <laughs> so. One year, so let me uh, tell y'all, one year, <laughs> one year I literally got him this big box and <laughs> there was nothing inside of it except the picture of the Spongebob like frame of where it's like, I got you this box <laughs> and that was it. And he was like super excited because he saw a huge box at the tree and was like, oh my gosh, it's for me. And I just taped the picture to the bottom. I have a picture of him with it. It's kind of funny. He like shows all his friends all the time. Hi, Bon Bon. I'm going to talk to everybody first. And then another year, I got him some ramen. Like the, like the really cheap ramen from like Walmart. Like, they're, they're like 50-something cents ramen. And I also wrap that in like, duct tape and a box. And like, foil, a lot of uh, wrapping paper. You know the work? This year, it was like a little bit less of a meme. But, um, I don't know if any of you have seen, um, the Studio Ghibli film, Grave of the Fireflies, but if you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. I got him the little tin of candies that the little girl has in Grave of the Fireflies, and if you've seen that movie, you'll know why it's kind of, like, meme -y. But essentially in this movie, uh, this movie is about like, I don't know if it's Japan exactly, but whatever the country they're in, it's like there's a war going on, there's like bombs and stuff, and it's about this little girl who's probably like three or four, and her slightly older brother trying to survive, and she, and they survive on these candies, so... I got them for my brother. You would have to watch the movie to fully know. <gasps> what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What you thinking about? Moving, Goldie. Uh, yeah, do what you need to do, Goldie. Good job, Goldie. Me and Rome are literal cousins? half a cow one of the things you can win on Wheel of Fortune? I can't even think about noodles right now. These roast chicken noodles are upsetting my stomach. Oh no, Rome. Sorry to hear that. Usually soup makes me feel so much better when I'm sick. Oh, I had to sneeze. at him cooking oh my gosh wait it's so cute how is he holding that he's how's he holding that petty i love you it looks good and it smells amazing what is it cookies <laughs> that's not how you make cookies teddy <laughs> that's not how you make cookies we could be chef pals oh besties it's all about the flavor okay Thank you, Teddy. I don't know who makes cookies like that, but, uh, I- I trust you.
Did you put a false bottom in the box? I didn't. It was just like a big box with a picture at the bottom. <laughs> that was too much work. I literally just found a cardboard box from the... That was like leftover from like shipping and stuff. My friends got me an avocado for Christmas one year so I could be like, An avocado. It's an avocado thing. Why am I like freezing every so often? I don't know. What's happening? I'm not even like moving or blocking my face or anything. So I don't know what's why this is doing that. She's making a name for herself playing country girls. I hear she's loving it. Whatever. Country girls. Someone's feeling chatty. What's wearing shoes like? I'm wearing socks but never shoes. Who is May? <laughs> Who is that? Don't you wear- you wear hooks. I know that's not really like wearing anything, but... I've only had a nibble of an avocado once. I don't eat fruit or vegetables, so don't at me. Wait, wrong. You don't eat- what? You don't eat fruit or vegetables? What? <laughs> How do you- do you just not like fruit or vegetables? It's like, you're wrong. There's some really good fruit out there. I love fruits. Vegetables, I'm- I'm- I'm good with some vegetables. Not all vegetables. But some? Did I talk to everybody? I don't know. I don't think I did. Uh, let's see who all. So we talked to Keaton. We talked to Deirdre, Lolly, Dan, Teddy, Apple, Cole. I think we talked to everybody. Now I'm home, you know what that means. What does it mean, Dan? What does it mean? Don, it's the texture. I literally cannot eat them. Wait, like, but... Texture of which Big which hair. one though? Because I feel like it's different. Little hair booty. Santa clip. You think you'd think these were peaches? Am, am, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> what? Santa was last playing Genshin. That was your last game, Santa. All the shout outs. Thank you, Dan, for giving everyone. Oh, rip. Thank you for giving everybody shout outs. Personally, if I go a day without eating onions, it's a bad day. Onions make things taste so good, but I do not like. I do not like. I don't like the texture of cooked onions, and also, like, when they're uncooked, like, it's just, just too strong. <gasps> the popsicle? Oh god, not the hot the boys games. with the hat. Gay communist bun buns, let's go! Arroo. There's so many here. Communist bun bun? Are you sure the people who are cooking for you aren't bad at cooking veggies? I grew up in an Irish family and God bless them, but veggies are not their forte. The only way I can ingest fruit if it was in tiny, tiny bits and I swallowed them without chewing. Interesting. I can eat a salad if there's enough meat or something else to cover the veg. But like, what texture exactly? Because like, fruits, each, I feel like each fruit and vegetable, or not each, I guess a lot of them do have different textures. We have visitors coming from far away. I can ask the vacate, uh, the restaurant visitors. Free? What is free? <laughs> I have news, they started a new service. Employees can pay for their purchases later. <gasps> I can buy things. Tabletop pop display. Actually, I'll pass. I can buy a tractor.
I really wish my final stream was a gateway actually like so it's time for you to stream again right Santa time for you to stream again Lottie let me talk to you ma'am I should do a real final stream so when Dan shouts me out I don't feel shame honestly Santa just go in and change your game just change your game That was my Richard Nixon voice. <laughs> Richard Nixon saying communist bun bun. <laughs> Interesting. Oh wait, I should change my game and my my title, right? Aminal Crossing. Yes. Oh no, my title's fine. I'll just change my game to Animal Crossing. One, two, three, four, five. Usually when I have no idea what to make for dinner, I start chopping onions and mincing garlic because that always leads to something. So true, so true. I love garlic. When I can't, I order from Uber Eats. I was telling Parth earlier that Uber Eats is like so much more expensive for me than DoorDash for some reason. I'm trying to order less from Uber Eats because those fees, yeah. Uber is like three times more expensive than DoorDash, I feel like. Also, I have good food in walking distance. I want to start cooking right now, but it's quarter to nine. Yeah, maybe, maybe don't cook or if you do cook, you can like... You can always just eat it later. Grill? I want to grill and chill every single day. Hmm. Maybe. Let's go to the restaurant and see. Let's check if there's anybody cute here. You can just change your game. Yeah, you can just change your game. That way it says your last played game is, uh... <gasps> Ashmina. It says your last played game is whatever you have it set to right now. Look at her being so happy. If there's one thing I am, it's a garlic girl. I heckin' love garlic so much. Is this coach and Astrid? Band practice with your baby? Rolling a giant ball around. I want to spend as much time outside as possible. Oh yeah, I remember last time when we made a restaurant, we have Flora and Fauna here as our as our servers, it's so perfect. I have a redemption where people can make me say whatever they want in my Nixon voice. <laughs> and someone wanted me to say about something about gay communist bun buns, I think. Oh my gosh. That's super funny. I love that for you. Oh yeah, our lightning toilet. I like that you can retake the picture at any time. Also, it's like, it's like storming here, so if I get cut off at any time, you can blame the weather. I did say it's scuffed. I did say it's scuffed. Let's see, do I want to make something for anybody here? I feel like we should really go back and like redo... Redo some of their houses, but I just want to just go ahead and keep pushing through. <laughs> Uh, just keep pushing through, you know? I don't ha I don't even have the pillars yet, so I feel like- I feel like once I have the pillars, I can come back and start redoing everybody's. Who- Surrounded by riches. Real and chill. Greenery. Okay, I've already done too many flowers and plants. Heroes need a place to rest. Everyone needs a break. Private street for street sports. <laughs> what? What is street sports? I want my vacation. I want to have a sci-fi theme. I don't want to do yours, Sterling. I want to make a house for you. Can a vacation home double as a gym? No, you said sci-fi. Crawl. <laughs> what? I have a fun Nixon fact. My redacted relative took until until about 2008 
to admit that Richard Nixon might have done something wrong. 2008? That's quite, quite a bit of time. But, you know... At least... At least... They're thinking. At least they're using their noggin. Oh yeah, our lightning toilet. <laughs> yeah, we... We... Have a lightning toilet, courtesy of Santa. Oh my gosh, I forgot what he said. A uh, sci-fi station. Uh, let's go and put him in the middle of this lake. Yep, this one. I'm scared. Both my grandpa and grandma who were divorced claim the other supported Nick's Interesting. He wasn't definitive. Might have. Okay, well, but at least you're in the right path to thinking. The right path, question mark. Okay, I'm gonna self-promo because mod abuse. <laughs> That's fine, Santa. Oh my god, not the oh. panty party. Oh. I love Santa's laugh, y'all. Hello, everyone. Hi. That was that was acting. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. I love Santa's laugh. It always makes me laugh. <laughs> That's such such a good laugh. Sorry, I just choked on my own spit. <laughs> Kinda nasty, TMI. Okay, I don't know what panty party is, but I wanted to look it up. It says, Panty Party is a fast-paced battle game. Fly as a panty in the street and in between buildings. <laughs> Search for the enemy panties and kick their bad heart heart heart. <laughs> All reviews, very positive. 91% of the 762 user reviews for this game are positive. Uh, I love that for you, Santa. I love that for you. That would be a reaction to that too. Yeah, I. it was very fitting. It was very fitting. Finally get- my game matches my soul. <laughs> Oh, by the way, let me know if the music's, like, too loud at any point. It's a little loud for me right now, but it's fine. Sci-Fi Sterling Station. Should I put anything outside? I don't think so. I think you'll be fine. For real, though, pan Penny Party is actually a lot more fun than it has any right to be. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. How do I open it? <gasps> what? But, whoa, that's kind of cool. Let's make the room, like, just a little bit bigger then. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't want to make it too big. But we should have some blue lighting, I think. I think blue lighting would be very fitting. Um. And if we use, like, Black. Oh no, that's stone. I changed my mind. Is this concrete? Yeah, that one looks good. Let's check wallpaper first, because the wallpaper always helps guide me for whatever reason. Oh, robo wall? Oh, heck yeah. I can't really see because it's so blue now. It wasn't that blue before. Let me do the suggested order. Let me see if there's a, a good sci-fi okay yeah this one would be good for him i think okay yeah this is definitely it the captain's shirt goes in the middle 
Let's do another one. You know what? I don't know what else to put, so I'm only gonna do. I know I don't know what else is gonna go in here, so I'm just gonna do one of them for right now. Is what I meant to say. Not that I would ever play it. Listen, if you did play it, I would never judge you. I would never judge you. We've seen we've seen some weird things in here, and that's completely fine. That's totally okay. I'm not doing any judging. Amazing machine. I love how it's just called amazing machine. Meter and pipes. Unknown machine. We need some floor lights in here. Ooh. Yeah, let's get a whole... Let's get the whole rocket. Let's get the whole stack. And a whole rover. Oh, the moon. Yes. I want to... Now I want to make the room much bigger. And turn the... Oh god. They're like, okay, there. That one's a little bit better. Then maybe make the room slightly bigger. <laughs> maybe like this. Is that too big? I don't know. It's okay. Wait, let me see shuttle there. Wait, uh. Uh, this shuttle? Space shuttle? Very small. Little small on the ground. So glad I finally found the inclusive community I need that doesn't judge me for playing a game where you play as fan me. Yeah, no problem. Glad you're here. <laughs> glad you're here with us. Uh, I'm gonna put in a wall. Partition wall. Oh, what? Oh, whoa. I did not know that it does. You know what? I have an idea. What if we do like a regular wall? Is this airplane wall? We do like a regular wall in the majority of the place and then we do an accent wall like that. Or we can do this one as, oh no. This is the accent. This one's the accent wall. And everything else is just a regular, can we just have a regular wall? Like a white maybe? Oh, I don't, I don't like, I don't like. Um, shutter wall? The shutter wall might be fine. The robo wall, I think, looks the best. Yeah, I think that fits pretty well. I love her. There's something that looks mildly off, but I can't tell what. It's it's a little too small for me to, like, see it. Because I am playing off OBS. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I, I really can't. I wish I could zoom in. Can I zoom in? Uh, not with the, not without the camera, but maybe I can zoom in later. But I think this is like the perfect wall, really. Let's put this little computer thing, oh, up, up, up here. In the center a bit. We'll put the little chair here too. It's like, you know, the chair. A double home. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> the accessibility zoom is undefeated. What, what, did I, what's, <laughs> what, do you, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what you, what you're talking about. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I have to move our little lander. Tap home twice really quickly. It didn't work. Am I doing it not fast enough? <laughs> Do you have to turn it on? Like, is it off by default? Uh, let's see. We'll put this machine here because it looks fancy and like it belongs there. And the pipes on the side, honestly, it, like, are, like, fit. It looks like it's part of this machine. It looks like it's part of it. Um, I don't think that I want... Wait, is this a button? Is this a button? Oh, heck yeah, let's put this button right here. This is the emergency oh shit button. So we have to obviously put it here just in case something happens. And we have to... 
get ourselves out of here as fast as possible. And we'll put his little tank over here. I think this is like sleeping area. This sleeping area. Or it can be. And then I don't know what to do with the shuttle, but it's so cute. I wish I could like hang it up on the ceiling or put it on the wall or something. Let's see what else. I got everything. I got everything that he like actually wants, so I'm not not too bothered. Vehicle cabin seat. Cool. Wait, that means you could have like you could have like two people sitting here. And then that. There we go. Yeah, just like in <laughs> And shows with a spaceship, I have a seat in the middle. And it's making me realize you could make the ship from Alien fairly easily with Animal Crossing furniture. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but try it. Go. I would like to. See. I'd like to. See. Let me put some lights around this chair. It's a little dark in here, but the blue. Like, really brings it together, in my opinion. A range hood. A disco ball. I don't think a disco ball really fits here. We have a hanging guide sign. Oh, wait. I could have used these for the restaurant. I'm a little upset -y now. I'm a little upset. What is this? White, black, red, blue, gold, green, brown. Oh, fancy. Cool. Custom design. I don't have anything good. I don't have any good custom designs for this. It's in system settings. System and zoom. Is that the bottom? Where where is it? Oh, zoom. Oh, I guess it was off. Let's try it now. I'm gonna throw this away. <gasps> I did not know that. Oh! <laughs> I did not know that. Wow. Okay, cool. Very neat. Now we can use it. Whenever I get the thing back. The simple, simple lamp looks like it's, it fits. Yeah, the simple lamp looks like it should do... It should be okay. Oh, that's too short. Now I'm gonna put maybe something on the wall. Wait. Um... Oh, this is the song that always messes with my brain. I need to remove it from my queue. Or remove it from the playlist. Move from this playlist. Thank you. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Do these go on the? S no, these are all floor things. I don't really like that. I wish there were ceiling things. There's a tank. Oh my god, it's bigger than I thought. Uh, much bigger than I thought. Okay, I have an idea. I'll move this stuff on this side, and we'll put this little buddy here. And we are gonna move these. We'll move th this like this, and we'll turn this around. Wait, is this facing the right way? Wow, haven't watched any AC content in a long time. This looks really cool. Jack, hello, welcome in. Long time no see. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, I am playing the DLC. I'm decorating real quick. Or I guess I say real quick, but I don't really need that. 
Um, I'm gonna get this intercom monitor and I wanna put this camera in the corner. I know that's kind of silly, it's unnecessary, but uh, we're gonna put this here and we're gonna put this here as well. Oh, we're gonna put this one right here. And this can go. Now we'll put it back over here and we'll put it we'll put it right here on this side down a little bit and we will put the little intercom on this side too next to the bed sort of just in case you need it it's good i'm switching to a different path now taking emt classes that's so great i love that Yes, save some lives. The world needs more healthcare workers. Good for you. Yes, yes, I agree. It is a difficult field for sure, but it's so good. You want to help people like that? Thanks, guys. Good to see you all. Yeah, it's great to see you. Uh, glad that you're doing well. Glad that you're here. Robo flooring. I don't know if I want that. What's the ceiling spotlight? This seems like a little too much. Just a little. Um, I don't know if I want that. Oh wait, it floats. Uh, let's see if rest are in. I know the moon floats. I don't. You know, I'm gonna stick this rock in here, cause why not? Or this satellite, probably, because it's cute. Cute little decoration. I have to sneeze again. Okay. I, I feel like every time I'm on stream, I sneeze so much. I sneeze so much. My music just like. <laughs> Hello? Music? <laughs> if Lily just stopped... What type of protein to put in my spaghetti? The blood of an animal. You put in like uh you have like no I don't, I don't really know i know everybody likes different things in their stuff this is really cool here i really like this but i know it like doesn't really belong it doesn't really belong here uh plus the engine's on it's kind of odd just have it in here like that but i do like having these two at least maybe there's something i can put on the walls scallops i have not eaten scallops in like years because i was traumatized by my dad almost burning down our house when i was younger <laughs> earth rug face food Ooh, wait, these gray floor tiles look really cool. Face rug. Earth rug. Yes, earth rug in the middle. Can I put this on the, the, the wall? Uh. I'll put this over here, and we'll just copy it. There we go. Yeah, like this. It's the little, it's this little area back here. Oops. Oh no, I can't put it there because of the earth rug. I know the moon floats is a good out of context quote. I feel like with Harrison, with you here quoting me all the time, I feel like we need like quote commands now. <laughs> we need to be able to add in some quotes every so often. I feel like you grab my quotes all the time, which is, is really funny to me. I love that. I love it that you do that. Just grab my out of context quotes all the time. Um, 
The blood of what? <laughs> the blood of our enemies, Dan. You heard me. Enemy blood sausage it is. It was a good thing my enemies bleed a lot. Good, good. That's good. You don't use veal much around here. I bet it is good though, pushing away the thought of where it comes from. I have some venison if you want to travel across the country and put that in there. Yeah, Santa, go run all the way across the country. Super underrated. What's feel again? Maybe cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little Moo Moo. I'm a big fan of quoting. And I love that for you. I appreciate you for it. Kind of funny because the thing is like I always forget what I say as soon as it leaves my mouth and then and then you quote me and I'm like whoa who said that what <laughs> but who said that um um what was I gonna do there was something I was gonna do can I change his clothes X X okay we need to give him a little space suit and a little space hat because I said so oh, there's no there's no helmet this is like wait 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 I thought, I thought it would take off the helmet wait a second that's so funny <laughs> I love that so much maybe that's why there's no helmet come on Wait, that's so funny. Wait, not the sunglasses on top of the beak. I love this. Uh, <laughs> this bird makes no sense. <laughs> this bird doesn't make any. I don't understand. We need the cracked nerd glasses for sure. But, but like, what's happening? That's so funny. I don't I don't really understand. Let's give him let's give him like a pineapple because Yeah. Darren, hello. Thank you so much for the crap. <laughs> Thank you. Josh, look up the oh. silver boss fight oh, in Sonic Generations. Oh, oh gold, wait, it's coming up. Okay, I, I died. I died. <laughs> he's gonna throw me up. That right? he's gonna catch me. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> wait, they did me wrong. Thank you for giving Darren a shout out. How are you doing? How's it going? Clearly Dan doesn't work at NASA. This is just how space cloth works. I know exactly, right? Exactly, right? This bird makes no sense. How are you gonna have a spacesuit on with a gladiator helmet? Like this Dan with the pineapple and broken nerd glasses. I've never had black or white pudding. What is white pudding? What's the what's the difference? The space vibe is reminding me of the J. What is the J W S T? The telescope. I'm doing pretty good, just chilling. Good, glad to see you here. Thanks so much for coming by. It is doing great. I've been checking on it maniacally. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, the telescope. Yeah. They announced the launch mid-course corrections thus far have been so efficient, they're extending the mission life. That's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna put stuff on the walls, I think. I was gonna put his little spacesuit on the wall. We'll put the boots above, the, above, because, just because. <laughs> and then we'll do, uh... We'll 
There was something else I wanted to put on the wall, but I don't remember. Can we do a wall shelf with bot? That doesn't make any sense in space here. I mean, we're not in space, like, actually. But it just doesn't make much sense. I know we're just... It's a sci-fi room. But, you know. It doesn't make too much sense, in my opinion. What if we do, like... Hmm. Well, in the dark sticker. Oh. I don't have any special thing. Oh, the stars. I don't have any special other stuff. Oh, I do have these stars. <coughs> Funk. Black pudding is blood fluid, so white pudding cannot possibly be anything good. Well, I know what black pudding is. I just don't know what white pudding is. I think that's Valentine's Day pudding. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> not, the, not the Valentine's Day pudding. Once the sun shield is fully deployed, I'll relax a bit. Oh yeah, I feel you. I'm not keeping up with it as much, but that's really cool that you're super interested. I love that. Where do I put these stars? He feels like a little baby now with little stars on his wall. He's a little baby. Let's put them like this. Let's give him another one and we'll give him one on like this. Oh no. They're not okay. They're, they're space time. Yeah. Oh wait, you know what? What if we do like every spot? He's like a little baby with the stars on the ceiling, you know? I think I can fit another one in, actually. Yeah, I can! And this is not me knocking on anybody who has stars on their ceiling, because if I, if I could, I would. Yeah, let's put them all over the place, except for where the camera is, apparently. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, actually, I'm gonna move this camera down so we can have stars here. Excuse me, camera. Okay, you can go back now, just not where you were. I don't want to say I knew you were gonna regret that. <laughs> not to mod myself. Mod? You mean unmod? You mean unmod? When she kiss you so sweet, you make Valentine's Day pudding. I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh, there is so cute up there. I love that so much. Wait, why am I missing one? Why am I missing one? There we go. There, they're really cute up there and I really love that. So, yeah. Let's get another one of these floor lights and we'll put it right next to the bed area. No, actually, we're gonna do a wall light. We're gonna do a wall light. Is there any good wall lights in here? No. I actually spent most of the day thinking about apartment decoration. Oh yeah? What are you, what are you thinking about? What are you gonna dec- how are you gonna decorate your apartment? Let's do this stylish wall spotlight. Let's put it on this wall actually and put it like that. <laughs> it's like right in his face. I had stars on my ceiling as a kid. I love that. I love that so much. Come to think of it, I'm an adult. Why don't I have stars? You should get stars. You should get stars. We should all get some stars for our, our ceilings. We're adults. You know, I found um, stars on Amazon that are like mirrors. But they're like little stars and like moons and stuff. Or a moon, sorry. Like a crescent moon. And I just want to put them all over my wall, honestly. But I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the money on it. But also, I want them so bad. Do you think- do y'all think this looks okay? Do 
y'all think this looks good so far? Or, like, do you think I'm done? Did I put anything else? Anything on the ceiling? Maybe I give him, um, maybe I give him a disco ball. Hey, where did the light go? I'll put a fluorescent light above the... This looks like a research spot. I can't, I just can't get past the idea of thinking that there's a man inside of the spacesuit. Wait, this spacesuit or just in general? <laughs> My interior design is seeing something at Goodwill I like and then mounting it to my wall. That is so me. I buy so many like mugs and stuff from the thrift stores. Kind of ridiculous. I could decorate my house with them now. I think this is like good enough. I might come back to it like at a later time. But for right now, I think, I think this is good. I want to go outside though and put... But a few things, maybe? Oh, why are we going- why are you going with me? I pilfered some cute stuff from the Target Kids bedroom section. Okay, but like, Target Kids bedroom section, like, the stuff they have there slaps. Like, it's so good. Why is this not available for adults? Why is it not available for adults, honestly? There's so many cute things there, like bedding and like wall decorations. Uh, let's decorate this house. Let's make it like... Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, can I do this? This style, maybe? I don't, I don't really know. I feel like this doesn't fit. Black Castle Experience. I don't feel like it fits very well. The wheels where I get everything and also where all my stuff ends up. That's a mood. That's relatable. Maybe the thatch roof looks better. I don't know, it's not very like sci-fi spacey, I know, but it's... I keep sneezing. I just can't stop. Wait, the way that this doesn't line up Okay, the way that this doesn't line up with this path, I am going to pee myself. It doesn't line up. I'm... <laughs> what? Who did this? Hold up. Who did this? I'm going to pee myself. What is happening here? Oh my god. I hate this. I hate it so much. Who... Who overlooked this? Because I just, I hate this. Ugh. Whatever. My bedroom now is a green planty vibe. I'm gonna get some national park prints and more plants to kind of fill this one out. That sounds like a nice, that sounds like a nice space. I had glow in the dark stars in my closet door in my last apartment. I really love that. It's better than I've ever anything I've ever created. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, thank you. That's very uh it's a very big statement. Ugh, this bothers me so much. Um can I put let me put like put solar oh, wait, I didn't mean to click that many. <laughs> I didn't mean to get that many, I just wanted to. This more looks like a uh, doomsday prepper house with the panels out here for some reason. Let me move them like this. Uh, 
I feel like that's fine. I don't really know what to do out here. <laughs> I found out the other day that the sheets can be ordered queen size from target.com. Yeah, yeah, they do have a lot more stuff online. A random asteroid. Can I like make the ground not good? Like, can I make it dark and or like look like dirt? Oh yeah, there's paths. I can do path, but there's no like dirt, dirt other than this dirt and this dirt. I just make it all dirt. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh no, I can't do the corners. The dirt is for nothing. The dirt is for nothing. Not the circles. When the interior designer you hired to decorate your vacation home, this is good enough for now, I think. Yeah, look, I'm just gonna leave it like this and we're gonna go back inside and... We're just gonna go back inside and take a good picture, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave, yeah. This is such a cute space, though. I really like- I really like this. Jack, you have a daughter! But I barely created her. I think mom did a bit more than me. Yeah, I think it does definitely counts. You- you helped just a bit, but it was enough. It was enough to put- to put your name on the credits. It was just enough. If it was an MMO, I would not get the kill. <laughs> no, it's definitely a... Uh, you definitely get to put your name on the credits. <laughs> Animal Crossing houses never line up. I had to redesign the whole path to my house because of it. It's such pain. It's, it's pain. I'm so bad at doing like outdoor sections at these houses. I definitely need to go back. I need to go back and do them, but I'm rough. Okay, do we want sparkles? Do we want burr, 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 burr? <laughs> ice. The chair is ice. Let me wipe it off. The fancy curved custom paths can help the misaligned houses look more natural. Yeah, I just- I haven't looked at many paths, honestly. I need to, though. I need to. I gotta go soon. I hope to see you in chat. It's good to see everyone. Thanks, have a good night. Drink some water. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a good rest of your year for the next two days three days and i hope you have i hope 2022 is good to you thank you so much for stopping in oh. why is it spicy why is it spicy no stop trying to fit in there no we understand you're a skinny legend, but stop trying to fit in there. I'm trying to... Trying to... No, I'm trying to wipe... Wipe this. This one's louder than the other one. Thank you so much for the hydrate and the stretch. Yeah, Jack, I hope you have a good, good rest of your day. An orb for him to ponder. <laughs> yes. I gotta go soon. Oh, there's no, like, dirt other than this dirt or this dirt. <laughs> I, I'm looking for, like, darker dirt, okay? I was looking for darker dirt. Like, space dirt? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to speak, okay? Don't cover me. Don't cover me. I'll make this one bigger too. I feel like it deserves 
be bigger. No, I want to make them the same size. Moon dirt. Yeah, my dirt. <laughs> my dirt. It's nice that they're the same size. Let's do this thing as... See? Or should we make it sweaty? Should we make it sweaty? Burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. Okay, I think it fits like this. Oh, no, wait. This one should be the... This one should be the steam. Eat. Burr, burr, burr. And then we'll wipe this away. And we'll make this one the really stress... Do do bloom swirl. Yeah, we picked up something nasty. We don't we don't like it. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> Guess that's inside it. Okay, I put you up on the big stream. On the big screen. Oh, I'm I feel I feel faint. I'm nervous now. I feel so I feel I feel so nervous that you put me up. Actually, I changed my mind. I want to do... I want to do... Is it spin? Mm, no, I don't want to do... I want to do... <laughs> We're going to make it sweaty. There, it's wet. No, it doesn't look good. Liquid N2 tank does do the venti. So does it is it look fine with the the cold burr 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 stuff on it? Maybe maybe fuzzy bub. Fuzzy bubs? Okay, fuzzy bubs looks fine. Fuzzy bubs looks fine. I like it a lot. I was gonna do the cold on the whole stack, but I feel like it'll do it at the top too, and it, that's just a little extra. Uh, but we can give this this one a little sparkle, sparkle. Give him a little sparkle. That way we know it's nice and shiny, nice and ready to go. And then I think this one should have. I'm not gonna do like everything, but I'm gonna. Sweaty Astro Man. Okay, let's do that. Maybe he's not ready to go. He is ready to pee his pants because he's going to go into space. And he's so stinking nervous. He's super duper nervous. Space blip, maybe? I don't know what this looks like. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's powering up. Wait, will that look okay on this one? I feel like no. There. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna wipe it off of this one. It's a little too intense. The sweaty machine. <laughs> no, not the sweaty machine. We'll do the sweaty man. Sweaty man, that's it. Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, now I need to take a picture. I need to move myself out. Oh, I'm gone. Uh, where should we put him? We'll, we're, we'll stick him here. Or we'll stick him here. No, no, no. We'll stick him right here. We'll stick him in the chair. I think that's what he would like. And then... Oh, wait. I have to talk to him first, don't I? Or... Can I just... Take the picture? Without talking to him? I make myself disappear. Poof. Okay, this looks fine. He's just like holding his feet. Holding his feet. He doesn't know what he's doing here. Beautiful. We will not be doing the outside. 
We will not be doing the outside. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Can I, like, move him? Oh, this is a good angle, but I want to move him. I'm just going to put him, like, right here. And I think, I think that's good. Actually, I'm going to talk to him first, because I think it's better if I take a picture after, because then I can, like, move him. It's ready, except for the outside. Just don't pay attention. Don't pay attention, please. To the outside. Don't pay attention. Look at him. <laughs> That's a good one. Like <laughs> uh, he's gonna take a picture with the study man. Oh, he loves it. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Let me save the video, too. This is the best secret hideaway an eagle could ever hope for. Recovery is important. Okay, let me take some pictures of you for the, the magazine. The magazine. Wait, uh... Oh, yeah, okay. Let me go down. And then I can move him. Wait, can I... Scan in an amiibo card and get somebody else? I did not know. I guess it's like almost the same to uh, what, it, what I was doing. Let me just take this photo the same way. I think it was like this. Can he smile? Can you smile for me? It's better if you're not looking. It's better if you're not looking. Ta-da! Okay. Let's check which photo's the best one. Oh no, it deleted the other one? Oh, poo. Ah, that's the best we're gonna get. I too would not look like I knew what I was doing there if I got someone to design me a spaceship vacation home and then had to pose for pictures in <laughs> it. But he was just like touching everything. I mean, it's his home now. It's his home now. He can do whatever he wants. Look, he's taking pictures of the sweaty astronaut man. Can you design a sci fi living room for me? Gladly. I would absolutely love to do that. I'm heading back. Maybe we'll do one more. I saw somebody tweet the other day about like, what did their tweet say? I can't fully remember what the exact words were, but it was like doing one home, doing one DLC home is so exhausting. <laughs> how does, how do people do like three or more? It's so true. Teaming up with Happy Home Academy? Happy, huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they always give me crap when they look into my window and see my cockroach. Those are my renters, actually. I don't know. I don't know why they're judging me so much. Happy Home Network. Is this how you go see the home sale? Oh, my controller buzzed and it scared me. I think it'd be great fun to post vacation homes and facilities you work on too. Pick out the ones you're really proud of and post them through the Happy Home Network app. I will work a little longer. I'll do one more house. 
but I do want to buy this stuff. I want to buy things. Yeah, let's buy it. Oh, do I want to buy this? Heck yeah, let's buy it. Whoa, that's that's expensive. A little steep for Adele, but I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, heck yeah. Wait, why was the sign much more expensive than the lock? You can finally look at my houses. Wait, can I go to your houses or is it just pictures? I'm buy this tractor. Is it just is it just pictures then? Cannot relate. I played for like 10 hours straight when the DLC first came out. I simply play until I can't play anymore and then burn out real quick. I I feel that so much. I am definitely somebody that hyper fixates on like games and stuff. Um just ask anybody whenever I first started playing Dead by Daylight. Very a drama. But yeah, just ask anybody when I was first on my Dead by Daylight kick because I literally played like 80 hours in two weeks. It was like a, it was like I went, it was like a job almost. It was a lot. And then I stopped playing Dead by Daylight. I haven't touched it in a long time. And then I started playing Minecraft like every single day. So I feel you there. We should whose whose dream <laughs> whose house should we do i said i'm dreaming of a private street so i, I thought i said dream or i was gonna say dream period dramas private streets need a place to rest greenery grill and riches which one should i do no, you can tour them? Oh, that's neat. That's neat. Can I do that, like, right now? Is it on this app? Can I, like, set my own? Enter the showroom with Puss to view other players' designs and share it on online. Connect- Oh, God. I didn't know that's what it would do. <laughs> I didn't know that's what I'd do. Even though that's what I said it would do, I didn't know. I can only share three? Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. There's other people here. That's pretty cool. Lovers Entertainment. My piano hangout. Wait, this is so cute. Following. Okay. Do I click on mine and like... I think I like... Pashminas. Can I like favorite them or something? How do I put them in? I don't know. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. Oh, you know what? I'm not looking at my chat anymore. It's on the side. Wait, what? Why did I do that? Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yep, on my tractor. There was one that wants a period drama. I need to do that one. My whole island is Regency themed. Let's do the period drama because that's what y'all are seeing. I don't fully know what it means. So, you know, if y'all could explain to me a little bit, let me know. <laughs> I would appreciate it. You can do it if I give you my code. Oh, I see. I hope I get the period drama one eventually. Pride and Prejudice is my favorite book. Is that- that's where you said your Minecraft, like, area, your house and stuff, your Minecraft build? That's where it's, uh, where the inspo comes from, right? Thank you for the lurk, Dan. I hope you have a good dinner. We'll just do this one more historical drama. Oh, his is like... He wants a sword and like a bamboo, uh, what's it called? Like, section thingy. <laughs> he wants that stuff. Let's put him with the bamboo junk if he wants bamboo. Where's the bamboo stuff? Let's stick him here in this forest. Your drama can be avoided with a cheap and easy access. <laughs> 
feminine hygiene products. I, listen, I agree. I 100% agree. <laughs> Rare drama is technically just any drama story that is really grounded in classical era, but most commonly it's Regency England or Victorian England, or I guess medieval. Oh, okay, neat. Yeah, I don't know. Walt wants a sword, and he wants, um... I forgot. <laughs> he wanted something else. We can see in a second. What a location. I feel like I've seen a lot of people do this house plot. And I've seen people do like, oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm not done. Never mind. Oh, that's quite the huge box got there. See, a sword, a tea table, and this thing. What is the, What are those called? We'll make it a little bit bigger again. Oh, I don't want to make it long. I do not like long rooms. Ew. No. I love how your character knocks on the empty house. It's called manners. Yeah, it's necessary. Maybe somebody's inside already. You never know. Never know till you knock. Ah yes, my Minecraft house is based on Pemberley from the 95 Pride and Prejudice. Who's in 95? What? Is it from- Oh, the movie? Movie? Is that what you mean? Is the is ninety five the one with Kira? Kira Knightley. My mom loves the BBC miniseries, and I also love the one that has Kira Knightley in it. I need to watch it. Let's have a watch party. Okay. Uh, this thing. I'm gonna grab that round pillow. Might as well. I feel like this has a specific theme right now. Yeah, cause look at that. Cheek room. Did he like that? I wasn't paying attention. My friend says every male can be judged on a Mr. Darcy to Gaston scale. Is Mr. Darcy like the good end and then... I fell in love with KK watching POTC. I don't know what that is. The 95 miniseries adaptis- Ah, blah, blah, blah. Adaptation. Not- Nightly. Nightly is 2005, I think. 1995 is like the six hour mini series with Colin Firth and is, in my opinion, the best one, but very long. Maybe we put the tea table like on top of this thing and we just surround it with tea. You know what? We'll do stew one. Hmm. I feel like this is just definitely out of my like range of things that I know what to do with. Like I just don't know what I want to do with this, honest. I do like the windows on that side, so I think I'm gonna keep that. 
Maybe I make the room like shorter. No, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe slightly longer on this way. Oh, I don't like it sideways though. I don't, I never really do sideways rooms like this. And I do want to have like an outdoor accent wall. Kind of like how we did for, I think it was Dobie. Was it Dobie? Grandpa Dobie. Rice paddy wall. Meadow ice. Forest wall. Let's do bamboo grove. Hmm. Did he like this? I don't know if he liked it. But we're going to do that one. I'm going to change the size of the room again. I take it back. I don't want... I don't want a long window side. Because what I want to do is put walls here. And... I think the walls will make it look better. Once I have pillars, it will help tie everything in, you know? But for right now, I just, I don't have any pillars. I really hate this so much. I don't want to use this tea table. I know I have to because that's what he wants, but I just don't like it. Let me grab these two things again. Mr. Darcy has his flaws, but he's definitely way better. Are you sure you don't have pillars? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Where would they be? An other? Because I don't have it. Hi, Sassy. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Yeah, where would the pillars be if I do have them? Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget. She said, with Darcy as a one, and Gaston as a 10. I was a 6. Nicest thing anyone's ever said. Uh-huh. I mean, Darcy's good because he changes and learns and grows, so he's still kind of an elitist jerk too. The best part of him is he's willing to grow for his, from his pride for Elizabeth. Sorry, I can't talk about PMP without getting way too invested. No worries. No worries. I wish I could talk about it with you, but I just I just don't know enough about it. Hey, cheaping folding fan. I need a different floor. I'm not vibing with this floor. I think that's what that is. I'm just not vibing with it. Ooh, this one looks nice. Yeah, you def don't have pillars. How when do I get pillars? Did I do something wrong? What did I do wrong, Santa? What did I do wrong? I just want to have pillars. Just all my own pillars, Santa. Pine tree. Oh, a whole tree. A bow. And barrels. Oh, samurai. Okay, samurai, alright. Ooh, a bonsai tree. Oh, lantern. Heck yeah, let's get some lanterns. Let's get these curtains. Let's get this thing. Let's put it on the wall over here. I feel like it should go like here or something. This game is so weird with the pace at which things unlock. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Wait, I'm gonna put this little banner flaggy thing right here. Uh, can I put another wall? That way it feels like, I don't know, maybe it feels like the vertical split cut. Oh, maybe that one's better. I don't, I don't really know. Let me see. Put them side by side like this. Huh. Interesting. I don't really, I don't really know what I want. I'm gonna leave these here because I feel like it's fine. Where is Mr. Rochester from Jane Eyre with the secret mad wife in the attic on the Darcy to Gaston scale? 
at the National Arbitorium, there's a whole bonsai collection. That's super cool. Oh, that sounds so neat. That sounds so neat. I'm gonna put this thing here too. Maybe? No, no, no. I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna put this in its place. That way it's kind of like going from the wall pieces. <laughs> Let's see if I can change the color. Oh. That's interesting. Why did the tassels disappear? Oh, it's like little balloons. Kind of like these. Oops. I wanted to go up and delete this one. Nope. I want to delete this one. Nope. I want to delete this one. Okay. <laughs> I actually really like the paste things unlocked because it was less overwhelming and you could learn to work with the new items and go back and update things later. Yeah, I feel that. It's definitely... I mean, there's a lot to, to go through here, you know? So, I am with you there. Let me put this samurai outfit right, right here, maybe. Oh, I don't, I don't, oh no, the wall. I don't, I don't really care about the samurai outfit as much as I thought I did. Maybe if we put some barrels here. Ah. Uh. I just don't know what to do. I'll put this bonsai in the middle. This thing here, maybe. We'll put our bow. I don't know, isn't there a bonsai table? Maybe I need to just grab a table and put the bonsai on top. Uh, probably this table. Yep. Let's see if we can change the color. There's a dark wood. It kind of matches, it's fine. Put the, the bow and the sword next to it. The Arbitorium has a bonsai that's been uh, in training? In 1625, the same Japanese family had it for almost 400 years until it was gifted to the U.S. for the bicentennial celebration. That's so wild. That It's so old. Let's do the brown, and we'll do the mountain. I just, I really don't know what to do here. <laughs> I'm a little lost, to be honest. Maybe if I do like a little, I just don't want to use this table specifically, but I know that that's what he wants. We'll do some round pillows though, and we'll do like a little tea placement here, because I feel like he, he might like that. Let's do a map. So, yeah, this is huge. Uh, this very large mat. Uh, let's put some tea stuff on the table. Those are cans, not tea. I don't know what tea and sugar. No, I need the fancy tea set. No, the traditional tea set. That looks the best. Looks like it fits. Put it right there in the middle. You should also give food, so maybe like, um, maybe like, uh, there's sushi. What about doing bonsai for a little bit? I, you should if you can. I wish I could take care of plants, but I just, it's never worked out for me. It's never worked out for me. A 
Let's put the fruits on the on the table. Veggies. Oh no, not the whole table. Ah, oh, poo. I can't can't do that. Ah, uh, this is fine. Is anyone here diagnosed with anxiety? Oh, I am. <laughs> I wanted to know if your brain may expand to feelings associated with something bad, like making you think you have an allergic reaction even when you aren't. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I am... If you ever, like, need to talk to somebody, like, feel free to DM me as well. But, like, yeah, absolutely. I... Especially with my health, I absolutely overthink everything I am one of those like I guess hypochondriac like I always think the worst even though not it ends up not being as bad as I think there have been so many times where like I have like coughed or like my chest has felt tight or heavy and I'm like oh I'm gonna die because I can't breathe like I'm I need to go to the hospital right now which is really interesting because I hate going to the doctor I hate going to the hospital so I don't want to ever <laughs> so it's like a struggle because because I'm like I need to go but also I don't want to go ever So I end up not going, and then I end up being fine anyway. Morris, tea. I like this tea color. That feels like it fits, probably. Gosh, I don't know what to put in this corner, though. Maybe I can put that samurai thing. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, my brain makes me think there's an earthquake happening most days, and often I think I'm having a heart attack, but so far none of them have been real. Doesn't help the panic attacks feel kind of like heart attacks. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, it's a struggle for sure. I, a lot of times, am very paranoid. But like every time I hear like a bump or my dog is barking at something, like in the middle of the night, where there's not supposed to be anything out there, I am like, oh my God, somebody's robbing me. I'm gonna be murdered. Like, this is my last few minutes. Like, I just go, I just go fully off the deep end. It's really rough. It's really rough. Because, like, part of me knows that I'm being irrational. Part of me knows, you know, that I'm gonna be fine. But I still feel panicked. I still feel worried. I still feel like I'm not gonna make it. It's hard to explain that to people as well who like don't know the same feeling I guess. Actually I want to put this on the other wall. No no no. I want to put this on this wall. Maybe maybe I move all of this stuff over here. Yeah. The, the sword and the bow. Oops. Sword and the bow. Oops. I keep saying oops. Gonna lurk, but don't worry. I'm still watching. Y'all are safe. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. Thanks for keeping us safe. <laughs> Thanks for helping us. I'll put this on the wall right here, and then I'll put the boots under me. That way it feels like maybe special or something. That makes sense. Thanks so much. I had a reaction to mushrooms and went to the hospital. Even though all I had to do was take Benadryl, I had full on breakdowns about food since then because my brain doesn't like it. Yeah, I, I definitely feel you, like, I, now that I 
I guess, have gone through it a few times. I always try to do the easiest solution first because like I said, I don't like going to the doctor. I don't like going to the hospital. And a lot of times when I do go, they do I feel like they don't listen to me anyway, which is already a struggle. So I, I always try to do like what I can at home. So like I'll take like maybe a Tylenol or like, you know, like you said, like a Benadryl. Like I'll do what I think I can do, but I, I'll try to do something for myself first before I, um, before I really like go to the doctor or something. But when it comes to allergies, like it's better to be safe than sorry. It's, it's definitely better to be safe than sorry. If you think you're having an allergic reaction to like a food you haven't eaten before, if you feel bad, you should definitely, you should definitely try to take a something small, like, yeah, like a Benadryl, like you did. And then maybe the next day, if you still feel, or even if in a few hours, if you still feel bad, try to go to the doctor. I just don't, don't mess with, like, when it comes to food, if I feel bad, like, I, I'm not gonna take a risk, I guess. I live with my grandparents in college and sometimes I would climb out onto the balcony in the middle of the night to hide when I heard noises. Oh my gosh, there are so many times where like, if I'm alone, if I'm like alone, I will like, I keep like the knife on me, like, <laughs> I know where the gun is really quickly in case. I'll lock the door, like I'll lock every single door behind me. This music is not helping right now. I'll lock every single door behind me just to make sure, and then I'll like double check that they're locked. I'm gonna move these two together. They're like sitting together now. Maybe I'll put four. I just did tonight, took half a dose of Benadryl over some weird seasoning I haven't tried before. Currently waiting for the two hour mark for anaphylactic, anaphylactic symptoms to appear, which they won't. I also have a hospital in my backyard, so it's not a problem. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can get yourself to hospital in the event that something does happen, then I think, I think that's fine. I think you'll be fine. Um, what if I do this? Is there a, is there one that looks nice? Ugh, I don't like it. It just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the vibes. I don't really know what else to do with this. I'm a little lost. I'm a little lost. That's the thing, I've had the ingredients in the seasoning, it was just seaweed, salt, and pepper basically, there's literally no reason to have a reaction. I just felt a rush of dizzy and I haven't had enough water today. Oh, definitely go hydrate, please, <laughs> and thanks. Yeah, I mean, if you've had every ingredient in, I think, I mean, if you've had every ingredient in that seasoning, then, and you haven't had a reaction, or you should be, should be good, but I totally get Get where you're coming from with the the panic and the worrying i it's good to be cautious as long as i mean i don't know what i'm trying to say it's there's words in my head and they're not translating properly <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> my dad put it in cooked spinach you're making me crave spam masubi. I love spam so much. <laughs> One thing that sometimes helps me to calm down is just to talk to someone or like call my mom and or have them check on me like call me in an hour and if I don't answer there might be something wrong sort of thing. Even if you know it's not a rational fear, it can help to know someone will check on you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. 
if you have somebody you can like say it out loud to I guess bounce those that idea off of sometimes whenever you say things out loud you're like wait that sounds kind of silly <laughs> that sounds kind of silly maybe never mind and I don't know <laughs> that's how I am sometimes This is the part of the stream where I don't know what I'm saying, and I just say where, and my brain doesn't work, and then I try to really poorly uh, to decorate for the last bit, and then it doesn't work out. My friend did that once, and then she left her phone on silent. Oh no, that's pain. I that would be me though. That would be me, like put my phone on. Do not disturb or like put it on silent and never answer and then just panic everybody one of my friends actually did text me recently and he was like he was joking of course but he was like oh i haven't heard from you in like in like so many months like are you are you still alive as like a joke and i forgot to i read the message and i was gonna i replied in my head but I never actually typed out a reply and so like two days later he called me like three times and because I was working I didn't answer <laughs> and he was like super worried I was like no I'm fine I'm just really bad at replying bad at responding I'm with my parents right now they will come in if I text oh that's good yeah I'm gonna try to get diagnosed with anxiety because allergic reactions aren't the only thing I obsess over. Yeah, for sure. If you have the means to, um, sorry, I thought I saw something. <laughs> if you have the means to, uh, go for it. It, I mean, it's not getting diagnosed isn't like a end all cure all, but it definitely helps when it definitely helps with feeling less i guess i guess alone is what i want to say because you can like identify with a group of people you can identify with other people that share similar feelings as you and it makes you feel less mm, less isolated in your feeling fish I don't think so. I don't think so. I know for sure for me. Thank God for therapy. Yes, thank you, thank you. I I know for me. Especially with like Oh, I can change the bridge. I know for me, um, getting a di- can I move this? I cannot. Getting a diagnosis for, like, ADHD and stuff has been really, really super helpful. Because, like, now I will go on, like, the, the internet, like, social media specifically, and, um, I will see things that, like, other people do that, like, I relate to. And also I see like coping, me or not really coping mechanisms, but I guess like behaviors and ways that they've taught themselves to, like things that they do to, uh, to help when they have certain times when things don't go the way they want them to. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying, how, what I'm trying to say. I don't have words anymore. It's been a bit. It's been a bit since I talk too much, talk so much. But, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. Talking to a therapist and a psychiatrist have been really helpful for me. Sometimes it takes a bit to find the right person who can help, but my general doctor was not able to help me as much as I needed. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely such a, it's such a hassle to find somebody who will listen to you. I was actually really lucky because I found a I found a doctor, or a set, I guess, of doctors that really cared about me and did listen to me. So now I have like a, 
I am a general doctor, or what is it called? General physician? I don't know, I guess. Um, and she was actually, she actually was the one that helped me get medication, helped me get somebody for therapy. She helped me find a psychiatrist to get diagnosed and stuff with other things. And so she's really, it's been so great because there have been so many doctors in the past who just didn't really care, you know? They didn't, I mean, I don't know if it was lack of caring or just that, I don't know, they just didn't believe me. So, it's, it's a breath of fresh air for sure. I'm gonna give him the, the cool, this thing, house. But smaller because I don't think it'll fit. Wait, you know what? I'll do this one. It's fancy. We'll do the gold the gold because we're extra. Not the castle. We'll do No, I want it I want it to be is this red red? Okay, I don't like the brown now. Ew. Ugh. Uh, that one's fine, I think. Let's get a better door. These doors are so bad. I do not like these doors at all. Oh, the black one's really cool. Oh, the brown one fits. I know, but meds would probably help. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, meds- well, I mean, it depends, really. Some people- I know some people that, like, the meds didn't really help them as much as they thought they would. Or, some- I know some- I know one person that meds didn't help them at all. Like, they tried so many meds and none of them really helped. But a lot of going to therapy regularly helped them a lot more than meds did. It always depends on the person. I would recommend psychologytoday.com. Noted. Yeah, I I always have trouble with that stuff because like I know what people are saying online, but are these like fake? Are these bots? <laughs> you know, like are these fake reviews or is it like an actual review from somebody? Or what is this, you know? But having a having a doctor with recommendations was really great. So I found myself to be very, very lucky. Okay, the yellow and the blue don't work, but I hate the yellow flowers so much. Oh, you can put plants? Cool. That's cool. My first two therapists were really bad, but my most, most recent one was, has been good. My first one asked to borrow my fault in our stars book and lost it, oh no. <laughs> and she was condescending about things. My second therapist had spiritual beliefs that she imposed on me. Also, I had a really bad reaction to the first meds I tried, but it can get a lot better. It just takes a lot of trial and error sometimes, which really sucks. Just remember that everyone that, just remember everyone that progress with mental health is not linear. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's it's a uh, it's fully a journey. <laughs> there is a lot of trial and error too. I feel you on the having to go through different therapists. It takes a while to find somebody that you can like click with. You know. I also had a the first time that I saw somebody for my mental health was the first year of college. My parents are people that first of all i have asian parents and the whole like stereotype about asian parents blah, 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 asian parents not really not necessarily not caring about mental health but not taking it seriously i guess is true for my parents at the very least and so like you know all throughout school it wasn't a thing to to mention it or bring it up because if I did it was always like I was like oh we had it a lot harder you know blah 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 it was like I was always discounted essentially in my feelings 
and uh so when i got to college like the first thing i did was go to the on-campus services because they were free to students and so i went to go see them they had like a psychiatrist that would like prescribe medications and stuff based off the counselors um recommendations and so i had medicine i was able to take medicine for the first time but that medicine specifically made it so much worse for me it was super terrible and i told myself that like i had to stick through it because it was new and maybe like things would change you know it'd get better but like it didn't so it really sucked for a while like really really sucked like when you hit rock bottom and then you take medicine that's supposed to help and and you hit rockier rock bottom you didn't even know it existed what what is this <laughs> that sucks <laughs> I also, and I have trouble reminding myself of this, would say that you need to remember you're not paying the provider to provide a service. Oh, you are paying the provider to provide a service, and if they're not working for you, you need to ditch them. Absolutely. 100% agree. You are paying all this money to see somebody that helps you, and if they're not helping you, time to find somebody else. Be so close to the table. That was such an up-close shot. I'm just trying to get done with this. My on-campus health services has a wait list like three months long. Oh, geez. That is quite the wait. I, that's, that's pain. I'm so sorry. I'm the same with my first meds. I could barely even walk and it gave me panic attacks in the middle of the night. I could barely sleep, but what I take now helps me a lot. Yeah, my first meds made it really difficult for me. I felt like I had, I felt like I had like tons more anxiety about tons more things on that medication. And then also the fact that it was making me feel worse physically too, like my my thoughts were already bad at that time, so it was like, it was like, oh, if I, t if I'm taking, also, like, I was fresh to this, like, healing mental health journey stuff, so I didn't know anything. So I was like, if, if, you know, this medicine's supposed to help me and it's not, then I'm not, I am not curable, you know, and it, I just spiraled from there, as you could probably imagine, like, like, I'm not meant to, to be better i'm not meant to feel better type of thing it was it was quite the struggle and i didn't again i didn't tell my counselor about it for for like maybe like huh why are you not turning around <laughs> i didn't tell the counselor or the therapist about it for quite a bit because because i was like i was like what if they tell me that like for lack of better words why did they tell me that i'm stupid and just like it's supposed to work i don't know why it's not working for you you're like what if they just validate the irrational claims in my head and so i didn't tell them for a while until it got like really really bad i don't i just want to get this stuff in the shot i don't i don't want to get all of that or I don't want to really get everything in the background. I just, it's really hard though, because there's walls there. He's barely in the photo. What if I move him like to this seat? I feel like people don't talk enough about how trial and error can be. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, Harrison. How do we turn him? Why is he not turning? Oh no, my phone's dying. Where's my charger? I didn't understand how different each person can react to each med. Yeah, and I personally, I didn't know how many like different medications there were out there and how many times I guess that I had to go through, through them all. <laughs> Not all of them, of course, but through the ones that I did. 
like you really really it really is trial and error and you're right nobody nobody talks about that and i don't feel like because i mean like you can't really go and look up it's not like reviews <laughs> you know it's not really like reviews i guess you can look on reddit or something about how the medication made people feel but but again, it's different for everybody, so you, you really never know. I'm just gonna take this picture and we're just gonna run with it. I'm done, Walt, I'm done. That's the photo. Historical drama, my butt. Doesn't even look good. I'm heading back, this was my last one. Yeah, it- I- I moved- I ended up moving away from the first college that I went to, and from then to now, I had seen four therapists, four therapists between the one- yes, I don't really have one now, or I haven't been to therapy in a long time since probably the- the, uh, pandemic started i guess um but between then and now it's been i think i moved i moved in like 2017 i think so from 2017 to, to uh let's say 2019 that's two years i went to like four therapists and that's okay that's okay my first therapist oh gosh well, I live in the south, so I live in, uh, it's very much like religion, religion, religion in your face. And, you know, I respect everybody's cultures, beliefs, religions, that kind of thing. Um, but not when you're throwing it in my face. And so, um, I specifically request people... I myself am not religious, so I specifically request people who will not do that. Um, some of them don't listen, though. <laughs> some of them don't listen. One lady I had ranted to me, took up half my time with her rant about how race doesn't exist when I was trying to tell her about, like, some- about, like, racism. That I personally had experience and she tried to tell me this old white woman tried to tell me a person of color that race doesn't exist that racism didn't really exist and I left and never came back <laughs> he ranted to me on my time <laughs> She was very old too, and she didn't really remember what we had talked about. Or I guess, I know that they see a lot of people and they don't always remember everything you say, but I feel like she wrote so many things down. I feel like there was three times when I mentioned the same exact thing, and she, like, it was like it was a brand new, brand new topic, or brand new thing. Do I have anything to give, man? Factor. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this dress mannequin. I feel like you would like it. Yikes, yeah, a big yikes, yeah. And then they called me back like a few weeks later, like, oh, do you wanna schedule another appointment? And I was like, absolutely not, absolutely not. Do not call me, do not call me, <laughs> absolutely not. Expensive for you to waste my time with some stuff you don't even know she didn't even know what she was talking about she wasted my time <laughs> let's check what's in my shop i think i've talked to everybody another therapist i had tried to tell me that all of the feelings of like depression and anxiety that I had were because of my period. 
because I have periods. Because I'm essentially because I'm a woman. And she also was a woman, so I just I just don't know where like outdated ideas like that come from and why they like stick around. I just don't understand sometimes. But like twice she tried to tell me that I felt that way because of my body functions. <laughs> like my hormones. It's like no, that's that's kinda wild that you uh are trying to tell me that right now. I don't think this I don't know if you should have a license. I don't know if you should be licensed anymore. <laughs> I'm so glad you left and never came back. It's so frustrating to go to what's supposed to be a safe space and be met with something like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think because of where I've grown up and the things that I've experienced, I was kind of desensitized to it, which is really bad to say. <laughs> really bad to say. Kind of sad, kind of sad. But uh, I mean, I just, I was upset, so I left, but I didn't. It wasn't a huge, huge deal for me at the time, at the time, because I'm, I was, again, very desensitized to things like, I kind of want these boots, but I don't know, and this hat. Yeah, let's not wear it though. <laughs> yeah, but it's definitely been a struggle. The therapist that I most recently saw was really good to me. Um, she was actually the first woman of color therapist that I have seen. Like, it's so, like, I, I wish it wasn't so hard to find somebody, but, but it is. Like, that's just the reality of where I live for whatever, for whatever reason. Um, but she has clicked so well with me and I, I need to go back honestly I do, I do need to go back more yikes that's funky yeah I know kind of stinky kind of stinky uh, so I, I get I get what you mean still making cookies Teddy I get what you mean with the uh, struggle to find somebody so yeah you definitely have to go through a few people sometimes um, but, but you will find somebody eventually. You will find somebody eventually. Just, you have to do a lot of research sometimes. You have to do a lot of research. Therapists are in a unique position of power over people, so I think they need to be super aware of that. <laughs> My shiny house. And yeah, I can imagine having white therapists who can't understand what you're going through must be really hard. Yeah, I honestly like I wouldn't mind um like I wouldn't mind as long as my feelings weren't discredited the way they were. Like it doesn't matter to me like what race you both are, but just don't tell me that I'm wrong <laughs> for what I experienced, you know? Like it's just ridiculous for them to to have said that, it's still ridiculous. Like the audacity <laughs> for them to say that. And not even like, not to mention, like I said, taking my time, half my session, half my session, those, those things are not cheap. <laughs> Sessions are not cheap. And they aren't, they aren't very long either. They aren't very long. Okay. I don't think I have anything to do right now. I can sit down. Wait, where's my reaction? Here it is. Oh. There we go. I did not know the zoom was a thing. I'm going into cognitive psychology instead of abnormal therapy stuff. I don't want to start self-diagnosing or mess other people up like that. I feel you. 
I know a lot of people who went into psychology because they wanted to diagnose themselves, essentially. There's one dude in particular <laughs> that, like, oh, it kills me every time I see his stuff, his posts. I'm like, oh, geez, that's what your psychology classes have, have done to you. And it's just, it's very cringy. Um, the things he says. It's very, uh, it's very, like, he tries to be so deep that it's just not it. <laughs> and he's one of those people that, like, thinks they know everything about a person because they talk to them for five minutes. I can't stand people like that. If that makes sense? I'm so sorry I had to deal with that. It's okay. I mean, it was definitely... Like, a learning experience for me. I feel like it was something that I had to go through, essentially, to, to understand what, what I really needed, in a way. If that even makes sense. If that even makes sense. Because if, honestly, if, like, younger me, like, just skipped to the good, the good therapist that I have now I probably like would never have like would not go to therapy at all because I don't know just the way I thought about things a few years ago even like two years ago the way I thought about things is like vastly different from the way that I do today I was drinking water to make sure I didn't feel my throat close up and now I have to pee every five minutes. I feel your pain. Oh my gosh. I am one of those people too. I am one of those people too. Small bladder problem. Let's see. I think, you know, it's 930 for me. I think I'm going to wrap up. Let's see who we can raid. Ouch. But I hope you're feeling better, Dragon. I hope. I hope you're at least feeling a little more at ease. Thanks for the stream, and thanks y'all for existing and keeping me company. Thank you for existing here with us, Dragon. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Y'all have given me such a good year, and I, I I can't believe I get to do this sometimes for fun. I know I don't stream all that much, all that often. I don't have a schedule or anything. But... When I do, when I do stream and y'all come and chat with me, it means, it means a lot. It means a lot. I'm always so stoked even when one person comes to, to come and like chat and stuff. Come and lurk and watch or something. It, it makes my, my night, like it just, it's just, it's great. But having so many of y'all here to talk to me, it, it's, it's an, I don't know how to describe it. It's such a good time with y'all. Always. It's like hanging out with your your favorite people, your friends. Like having a sleepover. <laughs> Just chatting before we fall asleep. Sometimes it's like chaotic a little bit. Uh, still kind of cozy. Thanks for the stream, had to head off for a while, but always nice being in soup with you. <laughs> in soup. 
in our little pot of soup, our little star garden soup. Thanks for the great chat and the great stream. Yeah, I'm sorry that sometimes like words don't come to me very well. Um, I learned that it's um, I learned it's a ADHD thing. Um, like I'm not I'm not stupid. I promise <laughs> I'm not stupid. I I'm very smart actually. I'm very smart. I have a high IQ as told by my therapist, my psychiatrist who tested me. Uh, I just, the, like, the thoughts that I have in my head don't translate well, like, to, to my words. Everything, like, I'm so much better typing things out because I have a second and I can read over everything again to where it makes so much more sense. And it sounds so much more eloquent and so much more put together. When I'm speaking out loud, it's it's like my brain and my mouth are playing telephone, but like we're going through we're going through like 15 walls. <laughs> and by the time it gets to my like it, it ready to come out, it just it just doesn't make any sense. Oh your words are great. Thank you. I appreciate I appreciate you you false boosting up my <laughs> boosting my my confidence, but uh <laughs> um Yeah, it's a struggle. It was really funny because when my psychiatrist was like testing me or like doing the ADHD assessment, um I kept like apologizing. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm not stupid. And then like, whenever she called me with the results, she was like, so how have you been feeling? And I was like, honestly, I wanted to call you every single day for the last two weeks and, t and tell you, I promise I'm not an idiot. I promise I'm not an idiot. And like, I cried so much when she was like, when she told me like everything and she was saying, she was like, you actually scored very, very well on the IQ. <laughs> like above average really well. And he was like, I know you're not stupid. I know it's a struggle. And I was like sobbing on the phone. <laughs> I was sobbing. <laughs> it's just nice to have that uh, reassurance, you know? All right. I'm the same way. I'm so much better typing. But I can tell you're very smart and very insightful and it's always lovely hearing your ideas. I appreciate you, Harrison. Thank you so much <laughs> for all the support you've shown me. <laughs> it means a lot, thank you. That means a lot, truly. Let's go raid our friend. Oop. Let's go raid our friend Dan. Who is doing I think he's doing his last stream of the year as well. So we'll go give him a big ol' hello hello and all the love. He's playing Star... Sorry. Star Fox 64. So, if anybody's a fan, we got the place for you. But even if you haven't seen Star Fox or have never played it, dance streams are always a good time. So let's just go say hi. Oops, raid. Thank you all so, so much for being here with me. Thank you all for a wonderful year. I seriously cannot say thank you enough from like the bottom of my heart. <laughs> from the emptiest, I mean the deepest reaches of my brain. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support that you, you've given me over the last year, you've shown me over the last year. I, I really can't wait to uh, stream more next year <laughs> in like three or four days, it's probably my next stream. Probably, I'm gonna try to stream on Sunday, the second, Sunday night maybe, uh, but, but we'll see. Feel free to join the Discord for um, notifications or follow me on Twitter as well. But yeah, I hope y'all have a good night. 
hope y'all have a happy new year um and i will see you around bye